Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I usually don't record at this time, but I, I wanted to make a video right now because um, Clan Battles is out and I never really made a video talking about Clan Battles. I kind of took made like a first look video ever since when it first came out, but I never really made like a guide or anything um, talking about Clan Battles or, or showing my Clan Battles. So I guess we're going to just go in and we're going to do like one um, Clan Battle, three, three fights. And I'll talk a little bit about it. Um, you can kind of use this as reference if you're trying to plan out your teams for clan PvP. I think this is something I'm going to be focusing on because my my team is very... It's definitely far from perfect. Um, but I'm still working on certain units. I, I believe like the rebirth monsters that we currently have right now um, during this month, the, the Dark Birdie and the Dark Miho, it's going to be really, really good for clan PvP because I think, I think aggressors are still king. Like aggressors are king everywhere. Um, so yeah, we're currently fi fighting against Divinity. I think we fought them before. This is a, I think it's a Taiwanese clan. Um, we're just gonna, we're gonna go and do some fights and see uh, see what I can do. Um, I don't have the like super OP airship. I just have like the normal airship. So I don't have like the, you know, I don't have bonus stats. Um, usually I try to find the people that um, other people wouldn't fight. This way it gives my clan mates uh, more options to choose, especially during my first fight because usually um, most of the time I can win um, in, in my first fight. So I usually just pick someone that's like full HP, like usually high level. I could try to go for the guy with the Albatross, but this is a little bit dangerous. I mean, if I if I wanted to fight this out, I, I would probably switch out to like an aggressor comp. But I've been running kind of the same comps for clan PvP. I kind of do want to switch it up a little. I'll, I guess I'll plan it. Um, I'll plan it a little bit because I haven't really switched up my clan PvP team in a long time. So I, we'll, we'll fight this guy first. Um, and then for the first fight, I'm just going to use, like, anything I can. I'm going to use my best units. So that, that includes the Dark Sarah, the Dark Atito. Um, I'll use my better one on the first fight. The one that's on Ruin. The other the other one is on Valor. Uh, this one's on Ruin. Um, so this one's this one's a little bit better. And the the other one is my Dark Cura. Uh, my, like, one of my favorites uh, for, for PvP. One of my favorite units to ever use for PvP and my, my personal favorite unit in the in the game as well. My um my my collector waifu unit. That's that's what she is. I absolutely regret making her a variant. I, I hate the I, I hate this color so much. Like the the original color was so good. I, I wish they would um like for if if they make a super evolution for her and like you know can possibly like change her hair back or something, like to like not blue. I would I would do that first, although it probably wouldn't help that much. And for the last unit, um, I'm actually going to, um, I think I'm actually going to use use a light Sarah instead. And I'm not going to use this light Sarah. I'm going to use the the other one, the one with the the one with 100% crit. This will be my best team. Pretty sure it's this one. I can't remember. No, this is this the one. So it's got 15. 19, yeah, this one's the one with 100% crit. Um, although her HP gem is in max, but there's no dark unit, so I guess it's kind of fine. So this is going to be my first team. Um, uh, the only effective lead is the defense lead, so I decided to use that. It is a perfect lead as well, so that's actually really, really good. Now, for my second team, um, I was talking about aggressors earlier. And I think aggressors are still king in, in um, pretty much all, all PvP. So I'm going to throw in some aggressors. And I'm going to use uh, whichever ones I actually have left. Now, I switched up the gems of of my Mihos. Um, a lot of my units' gems aren't currently maxed out. But I did regem some of my... Some of, uh, wait, not this Miho. I did I did regem this Miho, although I need to max out her gems. But currently, she is at like max resist, like 85%. Although her crit's a little bit low. But I think the resistance is a lot more important than the crit. I think she's at like 70-something crit. But I, I guess it's fine. Um, I think the resistance is definitely the most important thing for aggressors. So actually, actually, wait, what's a good leader skill I can run? Something with an HP lead. See, if I have the dark birdie, I would use the HP lead here. I guess I'll, I'll, uh, I'll use one of my shittier Mihos. This one doesn't have max resist. And then I can take advantage of her resist lead, which gives everybody 20% resist. And then I can throw in another aggressor. And my, my other two Dark Sea Stars don't have a lot of resist. These these two um, have very, very low resist. I think like only like 14 or something. 
Uh, but they are still aggressors, and these guys don't have a lot of really strong debuffs. So I'm just going to run this. And then I will run a um, another healer, um, a shield healer. And the good thing about light healers is they can they can absorb damage from a lot of dark monsters. And a lot of like aggressors now are dark. So I'm going to throw in a light healer um, that's like somewhat tanky. And then the last unit is I can actually throw in another light aggressor. So like another um, light Nike. I think my other one I'm using on defense, so I'm just going to use this one. Alright, so this team should be pretty good um, for PvP. And yeah, the resist lead will make these uh, a lot more effective. So I'm just going to run this as my first comp. I think this is a pretty pretty well-planned comp. Uh, and this is a comp, like, I, I, I like running the same units for everything. I don't like to play counters because I don't have a lot of elemental monsters. You'll see that most of my monsters are actually light dark. Um, yeah, some of them I got from eggs, but most of them are from rebirth and from events. Like most event and rebirth monsters are light dark. And the good thing about light dark monsters is they're element neutral against the normal elements. So you can kind of use them against all the other teams. Um, I think that's why the, like having aggressors are going to be really, really valuable because all aggressors are light dark. And especially the ones that are out for, um, rebirth this month, like the birdie and the miho. They're, they're both monsters that you can you can use everywhere. Like you can use them for farming, you can use them for PvP, you can use them for offense, for defense. Um, so I think it'll definitely be really important to to try to get multiples of those um, during this month. All right, let's let's talk the actual fight strategy. All right, so this is this is a dark dark uh, attacker comp. Like this is very very common in PvP. Um, this is not ideal. Like, if, I, if it was ideal, I do like to run two Dark Attackers and two Supports. So this one is basically two Dark Attackers, um, one Support, and one Light Attacker. Now, this Light Attacker is also very, very strong as well. The Light Sarah um, is definitely no joke. So she actually does a lot of damage as well. Um, the reason why it's better to usually run full Dark instead of, like, having one unit that's Light is if you're running this comp against um, other comps, that have aggressors, like dark aggressors, the dark aggressors can focus on your single light unit. And if your light unit's not tanky enough, um, she could basically just die in one turn. So that's that's one of the dangers there. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna um, kill the one with highest threat. Now my units, um, my Kira and my Gatito have a little bit of resist. I think she has none, she doesn't have any either. Now these these two, uh, the, the, the Nightmare has a really annoying debuff, that this thing has attack down, but seal isn't really anything that's going to affect me too much. Like, even if I get sealed, um, these dark attackers don't really give a shit, like, they're not aggressors. So even if they seal me, like, I, I don't morale boost, but I can still I can still do a shit ton of damage. So the kind of the only one with a lot of high threat is this Shiva. Once we kill this Shiva, um, we, before he gets his AoE off, we basically basically just automatically win. So we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna put a lot of damage on her on the or on him for the for the first turn. All right, this is GG already, I think. Now the the thing is, um, since um, I have a team morale booster and then I'm using another morale booster, I can actually use this Kira. I'm gonna combo it with the Dark Sarah to finish up this Light Shiva and see who spawns. All right, so it's a Wood Leo. Now I'm gonna actually just um, I'm actually just going to I think having these two since the Dark Atito is sealed. We're going to put some damage on the Wood Valk. She's going to heal back 20%, but I know my other Sarahs have their um, attack bars full. Now I'm just going to do this, and then this should take care of the Wood Valk. Now the reason why I attack the Wood Valk first is because um, sometimes a lot of people, like it's it's becoming a little bit more popular now. Well, actually, it's, it's always been popular. But some people do put one attack gym on their Wood Valk, and it's kind of like a baity thing. Like they know that um, in most certain... In most cer circumstances what the fuck i can't even talk in most circumstances um most people would not attack the wood valk would usually leave her for last now they use that and kind of just played mind games with people and then they put like one attack gem on her now holy shit fuck i just i just autoed but i guess it's fine because i'm like it's it's okay if you like accidentally auto with an aggressor comp it's not the end of the world um i'm actually going to try to kill this monkey first because it's it is an aggressor so it's kind of the only one with threat um, it has a little bit more threat than Cupid because it has the dark crit damage. I think I might lose this. This isn't looking too good. If I can kill this Cupid in like... Uh, before my C-Star dies. Oh shit, I think my C-Star is dead. Oh, not enough resist. Alright, that, that was my mistake. Uh, I, I 
Not stopping the auto <laughs> kind of fucked me pretty hard. It was my bad. I should have stopped the auto. Oh god. Oh man. Yeah, that's that was that was really bad. Damn it! I was talking just now and I forgot to stop the auto. I would have um I would I would have done a lot more damage to the monkey on the first turn, and then before like my my siren took that much damage, I would have killed the monkey on the second turn, and then um they wouldn't have focused my my light siren because they would have one less one less threat, and my my siren wouldn't be dead, and then and then I would have the shield on the third turn, and basically win the fight. That was that was my mistake. I can't even remember what I was saying before. Something about the Woodvalk. Oh yeah, it's they they uh they play mind games with people. He likes secretly um it's like a cheesy strategy. You put an attack gem on a monster that usually is is tanky. Um yeah, my climates are going to hate me for that. Dang it, I actually lost the fight. I was so bad. I was I was talking and I forgot to uh forgot to uh stop the auto. I wish they would actually stop the auto. Actually, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a good thing it it, it doesn't stop the auto. Cuz then like against easier clans, you can auto them. Anyway, so let's 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 move on to the second fight. All right, these guys have a lot of aggressors, um some some attackers. I'm going to actually use um some other attackers to to actually fight against them. Now this this comp is uh, two dark aggressors, one light aggressor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually run some light units. Um, yeah, so I'm going to run some light units. I could run a full light unit, but it, it also could be actually wait no I I think I can I can do this I can run a full light comp against them. I I actually do like running this comp um, for my second team. I do this quite a lot, and. Actually, I should actually not use that Sarah. I should use another Sarah. I should, put, I should use the Loki lead. And then uh, run one of my other Sarahs. I think this one's better. Okay, so uh, this is a comp I like to run as well. Like for one of my fights. Basically, I just take whatever leader skill I can. Um, the Loki's not really all that good. But it does have an, he does have an attack down and an AoE armor break. Um, and usually against certain certain people like if you can land this attack down it actually makes aggressors hit a lot less because it's, his attack down actually um, lasts for three turns so i'm actually gonna just run basically i'm out of dark attackers so the next best thing is i use light attackers instead and it usually works pretty well um yes it works pretty well um actually actually let me think I think I got I think I can make a better comp. I can use a I can use two light attackers and two uh two dark attackers. This way it splits up the damage if they're running a comp like this. This might work. This could this could be a pretty good team. Somehow feel like this is riskier, but my my Gatito and my Gatito is pretty well gem. My Mona has pretty shitty gems. Actually, wait, this is this is not gonna work. I'll I'll, I'll go back to the other comp. All right, let's just run this comp. I think this comp is probably better. Um, in general, probably not against this team, but I I do like to build like more general comps. This way, I don't have to always switch around. Um, as for the second team, I'll I'll run a I'll run a half aggressor half um I'll run a half aggressor half uh attacker comp. I think this should work pretty well. This is basically this is like full offensive. It's just it's just damage, just pure pure damage. Um for the second comp and actually I do have another Miho right I think yeah I think I think this might be better I'll run a I'll run July who's also an aggressor this way I have a bit of sustain 
and then I run a, uh... I guess the next best thing is run this Dark Vic. Or Dark Thor. Dark Vic might be better. Or maybe I should run a Bruiser. And then I make a... I, my last team will just be like a full nuker comp. Alright, I'll run a Bruiser. Uh, my Indra is built on um, crit rate HP attack. So like he has one HP gem and he's a nat 5. So he's got slightly higher base health than normal nat 4 monsters. Um, so I think he should, be, he should definitely work pretty well. And instead of running a uh, crit lead, I'm going to run a resist lead because the... Resist lead is uh, is pretty pretty important. Although they don't have a lot of uh, monsters that can that can screw me over, but I think resist lead is definitely still um, still better because my my other units don't have any resist at all. So I'm gonna run this comp. The first comp, I can't guarantee I'll win, um, but as long as RNG is not extremely bad, I should be able to win. Cross my fingers. Alright, this comp is not... Like, the the one I'm running right now for offense is not top tier because I'm using two debuffers. And these guys are usually pretty useless in PvP, um, especially if they have really high resist. However, if their resist isn't... Um, isn't up to proper standards, then I will be able to shock them or attack down them and basically win. Yup, um, GG. Alright, since this one is shocked and she can't move for a turn, I'm just going to leave her like that. And then on second turn, I can use the same two light attackers to kill this dark one. And then, um, I already know my, my shock does a lot of damage to this D-Star. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to kill it. And then, um... Since the light Nike is the, the next most threatening thing, and I don't know if you guys know this, um, older players will probably know this, newer players might not, that attack down actually affects, affects aggressors, um, and it actually affects them quite a lot. If you put attack down on an aggressor, they do a lot less damage. The reason I try to do that is because the, the Nike is a um, light monster, so she has a base resist of, um, of zero. So I'm trying to see if I can... Uh, if I can put the attack down on her, but the thing is, it didn't even activate, so I, I guess it wasn't it wasn't really important. Now, before I attack with the snowy, I'm going to try to land the shock if I can. Um, if not, it's also fine. I'll do I'll do the heal of the snowy, and this should bring my Sarah up a little bit. Um, all right, that was a little bit sad, but it's fine. They have no more threat, and if this lands, then she she'll be doing like absolutely no damage. I'm going to try to armor breaker so uh, we can do a little bit more damage and kind of speed up the kill. But at this point, it's it's already GG. Now this guy just, he didn't have a lot of resist, that's all I can say. If his if his monsters had like, max resist, I there there would have been a pretty good chance that I, I would have lost. But I, I can't, I'm kind of just like, um, I guess I'm abusing the fact that sometimes like, if they want to use their best aggressors for offense, they might not be able to use the same monsters for defense. Now I'm the I'm the absolute opposite. I use all my best monsters on defense, but then like nobody hits me, and then I kind of am forced to use like some secondary monsters for offense. But I think it's perfectly fine as long as you um, you have the resist of like aggressors relatively high. Should you should you should probably in most cases um, win. So like Coco, we're gonna just put some damage on it. It's gonna hit one of my guys, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to kill it really fast. Um, ooh, this bolt wing is trouble actually. I should actually kill the bolt wing. I think it's built full glass cannon. All right, I think this should kill it. Oh my god! All right, it's perfectly fine because uh, I I do have some heals as well, so I can sustain myself a little bit. And then this is also an aggressor, but it's only single target, so it can't generate a lot of blue souls for his team. Now this Arthur is only evil too, so I guess I'm going to just kill him first. He's probably squishier than the wolf, 
Because the wolf has either built crit rate double HP or he's built uh, triple HP. So he could be relatively tanky compared to the Arthur. Alright, they have no more sustain. I still have my July to sustain myself for a few turns. So I should probably win this at this point. Yeah, my, my Indra is just doing like crazy shitloads of damage. He's actually a super OP if you think about it, because um, stat-wise, he's really, really good. And he's dark, so he ha he gets that like bonus crit damage. Like, just just the fact that he's a light dark nat 5 already makes him really... Like, no, 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 no not, not light. Light isn't that strong. But, like, the fact that he is a dark nat 5 just makes him super strong already. Like, that fact alone. So, like, I don't even need to use... It's like, when I'm hitting someone with his courageous strike, it's like... He doesn't have a passive, but it doesn't matter because he's so so uh so good stat wise. That's why he's still pretty good for clan PvP. All right, so this is this is my leftover team. Um, I'm probably usually for my last fight, I usually pick somebody easy, somebody lower level, and I abuse the fact that you know if they're lower level, then they probably don't have like super strong. Yeah, they probably don't have like super strong monsters. Um, damn, this is trouble. They have like nobody that's like super weak. Alright, this this one isn't too strong. But it has too much water. I can't I can't deal with too much water. Uh this alright, this it has to be this one then. Okay, so for my la last team I usually just throw in random units that I haven't used yet. Um, you know, I I don't use my monas too much because they don't have a lot of crit. They're kinda they're kinda shitty. I recently ungen this guy so he's not he's not really usable i have one more sarah left to use um and i'll probably use the one with the leader skill and this will be good because to, to tank some damage from the dark sea star now i'll run the sarah i'll try to run another i don't think i have another light unit i can use um all right since they they have a lot of light units i might and they might not have like super high resist i can maybe use an armor break um and then use like a fire monster like my fire siegfried and what else and dang i have nothing gemmed up they're all so bad all right i'll, I'll try to i'll try to abuse their aggressors a bit see if i can do this uh, for the second team I really don't have too much. I think I recently ungen my water monas. Yeah, I just I just I gen my mo water monas with random gems because I took the siphoning gems and gave them to somebody else. Um, so I'll use my water miho. She actually has decent. She has a decent leader skill. It's like level four. Um, for the resist, because there's shock, stun, and you know all all types of crazy shit. And I'll use my fire succubus. Um, Last Dark to Tito, and this is just going to be full glass cannon. I'm just going to try to try to do as much damage as I can. Um, Alright, this probably isn't that good. Uh, this will run my gin. I think I think this is probably the best comp I can come up with. This, 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 uh, this, that, that wood, this wood to Tito is not a good idea. I'll, I'll still run the Siegfried. Um, but instead I'll run a, I'll run an Anu as well. My Anu gems aren't maxed, but they are, they are decent. So it's, it's actually not too bad. Um, defense lead is pretty good. All right, this is all I got. Uh, these are just the leftover units and if I win, I win. Oh wait, I have a Dark Thor, I forgot. All right, this is, this is all I got. It's better than, he's better than the Anu. Okay, uh, hopefully, hopefully this works. I'm I'm out of like monsters to resist to use, so that's why I wanted to get like one more Dark Miho. Because if I get one more Dark Miho, I can still use her for this fight. And if I have like three Dark Birdies, I can split up some of my other units. 
uh, where I don't have multiples of. I also have like two light Victorias in storage, so I can actually raise them both as well, and then that gives me like another two aggressors that are like really really good that I can use. All right, so um, I think my Sarah can take tank one hit from the Sea Star. The Anu usually people build them like mostly attack, so I should be able to kill them really fast. This is a little bit overkill. But it's fine. Um, spawn a water Sura. I'm gonna actually try to. What I'm trying to. What I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna stun the. Um, I'm stun the Sea Star actually. She probably has a little bit more damage. All right, we're gonna, very nice. The Pugilist proct. That's GG. My uh, Siegfried has a full bar as well. That is definitely a win. Oh wait, I was supposed to armor breaker first. All right, it's fine. Alright, they have no more threat. They have one sustain and one CC. And even even if he CCs me, I have a, a whole bunch of other units I can use to, uh, to nuke his face. It's double elemental edge. Alright, so that, that was actually pretty good. Now this is a little bit dangerous because my units don't have a lot of resist. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to kill their, one of their CC units. Um, the Cure only has a 60% chance to shock. The Arthur, however, has a 100% chance. Um, the Odin has an 80% chance to armor break. But since I'm running a mostly, like I'm literally running a glass cannon comp, the, the armor break is not going to do anything to me because it takes one more extra turn for them to kill whatever is armor broken. So as long as I kill him in first turn and the thing that spawns doesn't have like, isn't like a water sura or something, I should be fine. It's going to be a water sura. Just watch. Oh, no, it's a dark Katito. Alright, so, um, I guess I'll hit the Miho first, because she has higher threat. Now, she can shock, and this can armor break, but, like, at this point, it's already, it already doesn't really matter that much. As long as I kill this Miho, um, they have, like, no more threat. Now, whoever she shocks, the other two will still kill her, so it's fine. And that's that's pretty much it. Uh, that's just kind of how I go through clan PvP. I really should not have lost that first fight. Like, believe me, I already know that how the fight would have went went down. I think half of it is like the the thing about PvP is like if you understand the, their monsters enough. You can actually predict how the fight would um, would go down, like every time. You can actually go in, look at someone's um, defense. You can see their monsters, and you can kind of guess what they might be hiding. And if it's like something that that's meta, um, if it's not, it's they're probably gonna lose anyways because it's they're not hiding a unit that's good. Um, but then if they're hiding a unit that is like you know, I. I don't like using the word meta, but actually no, I like I love using the word meta. I just I, I use it all the time. But people get pissed off when I use the word meta. Um, you know, if if I if they're hiding something that's that's meta, then uh, you you can the chances are you can guess what that what that is. So like for that last fight, I was kind of guessing like you know what they could be possibly be hiding that could fuck me over. Um, and it's easier to guess like this, like in clan PvP, because they can't use repeat monsters. So like sometimes in normal PvP, they can be hiding like a second Miho or, or a second Sea Star or something like that. But in clan PvP, you know that's impossible. So like if they're running like a CC comp, you kind of kind of know what their strategy is. They're trying to stun you for a few turns and hope that your your units don't have that much resist, um, and then basically win. So I was thinking that maybe he might be hiding something like a water sura. Um, but then, then he wasn't. Then again, I think he had a water sura in the first fight. Did he? I think he did. Um, but then he could also be hiding another stunner. Um, you know, like he might have gotten the contract, you know, got a light valk and is hiding that. Or maybe some people like to not use their absolute best units on defense and instead, uh, you know, kind of use use a few for offense. But I, I, I kind of do it the other way around. I use my best units on defense. And, um, you know, I leave my I leave my offense to whatever I have left. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That is, uh, that is Climb PvP. Um, I hope 
hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of me talking through my process of how to how to do it, um, how I plan my teams and stuff. I think it's pretty interesting. It actually has a, it's it's a lot more fun than Astromon League, I think, because you're you kind of you're kind of limited. You can't use the same monsters and stuff. It does bring a lot more v variety, and it kind of forces you to um, into a situation where you can't always have like you can't always have everything you need. Um, instead, like in Astromon League, like I could be running. I have like all the choices in the world. If I want to run something, I can I can run like my um, aggressor comp. I'm, I didn't do any PvP this week. I kind of stopped doing. Like sometimes I, I try to do PvP if I don't. Like last week I tried. I I got to Heroes One, um, but this week I just like I don't know. I just I don't feel like doing PvP. I, I probably should, but like in in normal PvP, um, you can use repeat monsters. So a lot of times you can you can use the same monsters for defense. Like I can use two Dark Mihos, and this isn't really allowed. And then um, you're also able to use your best units on offense. So the chances of you losing in normal PvP or in in League PvP is a lot um, a lot less than in Clan. So I think that actually makes makes things a little bit more fun for Clan battles. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.